Welcome to Newsday at the Movies. I'm Rafer Guzman, Newsday's film critic. Summer is almost here and things are heating up in the theaters. Let's start our summer movie preview with Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Are you ready for one last ride? Marvel's misfit superheroes are back for their third movie. The gang is all here. Chris Pratt as Peter Quill, Bradley Cooper as Rocket Raccoon, and yes, Zoe Saldana as Gamora. They're fighting a mad scientist called the High Evolutionary, played by Chukudi Uwuji. It's in theaters now. Here's another familiar face, Harrison Ford in Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. You found something on a train during the war. A dial that could change the course of history. Why are you chasing the thing that drove your father crazy? This is the fifth and probably last time for Ford to play the famous archeologist. Would you believe he's 80 years old? His co-star is Phoebe Waller-Bridge from Fleabag. The director is not Steven Spielberg, it's James Mangold. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny hits theaters June 30th. Next up is Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Your days of fighting for the so-called greater good are over. It wouldn't be summer without Tom Cruise. He's once again playing Agent Ethan Hunt alongside his usual all-star cast. This is Mission Impossible number 7, and Paramount says it features the biggest stunt in cinema history. We'll see about that when Dead Reckoning hits theaters July 12th. Finally, here's a different kind of summer blockbuster from Warner Brothers and Mattel Films. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Ugh. Hi, Ken. Hi, Ken. The movie is Barbie, and Margot Robbie plays the glamorous doll who made her debut back in 1959. Ryan Gosling plays Ken, Greta Gerwig is the director, and this will be Barbie's very first live action film. It comes out July 21st. It really does feel like the movies are back. By August, we should have 10 or even 12 major hits and a couple reaching for that billion dollar mark. After three years of the pandemic, this could be an exciting summer. For Newsday TV, I'm Rafer Guzman.